This video was requested by Dante Garcia, The Bloxburg Show, Sarita Fernandez, and Momo Yaoyorozu. Hello and welcome back to Quirk Analysis 101, the series where I give you a detailed rundown on the quirks in the world of My Hero Academia. In the last video, I discussed the ability that belongs to the beloved Bunny Baddie, who will break you in so many ways you'll be questioning why you now have a rabbit kink, Rumi Yusagiyama, aka the rabbit hero, Mirko, and her brutally bouncy badass quirk, Rabbit. In today's video, I will be discussing the quirk that belongs to the youth loving dominatrix defining sexual awakening how in god's name is she allowed to be a teacher fetishized queen namori Kayama, aka the r-rated hero midnight but before i begin don't forget to detroit smash that like button and slide on into that subscribe button's dms to hit that notification bell and now without further ado let's sniff our way on over to the super powered sleep inducing insomniac sickening quirk that is somnambulist somnambulist is an emitter type quirk which first appeared in chapter 40 43 of the My Hero Manga and episode 23 of the anime. This quirk grants its user the ability to exude a sleep inducing aroma from their skin, which takes effect upon inhalation. Basically, the user can create a gas like substance from their body that forces anyone who inhales it to fall asleep. It's a pretty easy concept to understand. You produce smell, someone smelled the smell, said person, go night night. Oh my god, I just realized that's why she's called midnight, because people go to sleep at midnight. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so dumb. What's next? Am I gonna learn something like Hawks is named after a bird? Actually, he's what? And now it's time to talk about this quirk's abilities. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you folks, there really isn't any. When it comes to Somnambulist, you get what's on the tin. You produce an aroma from your body that can put others to sleep. That's it. Now, I suppose it is important to mention that this quirk doesn't affect the user themselves. So there's no worries of accidentally knocking yourself out to mid combat. Although that would be kind of hilarious. It also makes you an absolute monster at close quarters combat, as no one can even get close to you without immediately falling asleep. The user of this quirk has also been shown to have some control over the aroma once it is produced, allowing them to aim the fragrance at desired targets while avoiding their allies. Plus, with the help of support items such as fans and whips, yes there is actually a practical use for this whip, the user can spread their aroma farther by fanning the wind, or if they douse the whip into fragrance they can just attack near their opponent and it will be in their proximity, knocking them out. See guys, there's a canonical reason for Midnight to be all seductive and dominatrixy. It's because of her quirk, and not because it's fun to have a super hot and overly sexualized female character designed to appease a male fantasy that could step on me and I would say thank you to. It's just canon, guys. But enough of the abilities. Now it's time to talk about this quirk's weaknesses. Which, unfortunately for the user of this quirk, there is quite a lot of. Firstly, there's the fact that the sleep-inducing aroma is produced through the user's skin. This means that the user can't cover the part of their body they want to produce the aroma from, even with clothing. They must show their bare skin for it to work. This ultimately means that wearing any piece of clothing immediately limits this quirk's power. Now, to counter this, Midnight does wear an easily terrible hero outfit. However, she still has to perform the action of tearing her outfit for it to work, taking longer for her to activate the quirk. Now, you may be thinking, why why doesn't Midnight just go naked then or wear less clothing? Well, fun fact, you pervert, she initially did. But after her hero debut, new laws were brought in forcing heroes to cover a certain amount of skin. That's right, Midnight is the reason heroes aren't allowed to wear skimpier outfits. Another weakness associated with this quirk is the fact that this quirk only affects those that inhale the user's aroma. Meaning that if you simply don't breathe in the fragrance as seen when Mineta faced Midnight or wear a gas mask such as when this quirk can't affect you at all, rendering it practically useless. There's also the fact that, unlike the creature rejection clan, this quirk doesn't discriminate. So if your allies happen to run into your aroma, they too will pass out regardless of whether you wanted them to or not, making friendly fire very likely and team attacks tough to perform. Although, if the user was to work in a team, it would be advised that they work in a team of females, as this quirk is said to be more effective on men than on women. And finally, the ultimate weakness of this quirk is the fact that this quirk is an aroma. This means that all the user needs is one giant fan and boom, this quirk can't get near them. That's absolutely right, ladies and gentlemen. Midnight's arch nemesis is the f***ing fan man. 
but enough of the weaknesses. Now it's time to talk about this quirk's potential. The first of which is to store somnambulists' odor using scentography and then using it to create sleep grenades, similar to how Buckgo makes his grenades. If the user could do this, then they could use these grenades at a distance, not only increasing their quirk's range, but also opening up more opportunities for sneak attacks. Similarly to how Midnight attaches her scent to her whips, the user could also attach it to any form of projectile, allowing them to create crazy long-distance weapons such as sleep bullets. But without a doubt, the greatest potential this quirk has to offer is the fact that the user always has an excuse to get naked. People shocked at the sight of you running around the streets freebirding it? Don't worry, citizen. I'm just doing hero work. And that's everything you need to know about the quirk Somnambulist. Overall, this is an interesting quirk to say the least. For hero work, it seems extremely useful and is probably one of the least harmful abilities any hero out there has to offer. However, it does come with a plethora of weaknesses and in the real world and everyday life, I don't think it has too much of a real use unless you want to be a villain or show off a cool party trick. But let me know what you think. Would you like to have the Somnambulist quirk? And what quirk would you like me to cover in this series next? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Plus Ultra.